Art is an inward ability to express yourself outwardly in a creative way to enhance society's views to current, future, and past events. Without art, the world would be very void of feeling, emotion, and creation. Being able to see nature around us is a very rare ability that one might have. Sometimes it is difficult for a person to find themselves during a time when things just don't seem to make sense. However, if a person searches deep within themselves, he or she will be able to find an inner power in enabling them to express themselves. Let's begin to look at art from the world's perspective. Here, one will be able to see that the world plainly sees art as a thing of the now. Because art changes so much based on time and societal change, it can be very difficult to know what to create. For some, it might be sculpture, drawing, or painting. There's no right or wrong form of art that can be created, with the exception that one must try and follow the elements and principles of art that has been discussed earlier in this class. Just to recap on what some of those elements and principles are, let us first go back to when we were talking about some of the more unknown artworks created by Edward Munch. If you can recall, during one of this more bizarre time, he created a, a work called The Scream. Here he uses line, shape, and form very clearly in his foreground, with what seems like a crazy man trying to rid himself of the struggles in society. In the background, there seems to be two people either walking away from the crazed figure or towards it. If one were to look carefully, there is also a fine use of some of the elements of art, such as color, line, and shape. As an artist, it is important to have at least three or four of these elements in your art because it is these elements and principles that help make the art good compositionally. Also, with the proper use of color, it can attract or detract a person's view from one part of the artwork to another. Another important part of the art along the lines of principles is form. Without having a well-balanced form or subject matter in the art work, it becomes difficult for the viewer to grasp the real meaning behind what the artist is trying to say. Although, there have been times when an artwork is placed in a museum and those who view it might not be able to understand what is going on within the work, which in many instances, instances is a lack of an element of art like color or form. When this happens, the artwork usually falls into non-objective or minimalism. If an artist is going to produce such artworks as this, they might find themselves with a mental block, which in turn could make it so that the artist producing minimal work to s stop art altogether. This is not a good thing to happen to an, any artist because with, without that inward drive to express oneself outwardly through artwork, it is, it is also going to be difficult for that person to express themselves in any kind of way. Art that seems to last is full of several of the elements and principles of art. Building a strong artistic foundation is vital to the, su the success of not only the artist, but also those who choose to sponsor that artist. It isn't just painting and drawing that need to have the principles and elements of art, but also architecture. One architectural wonder that first shaped the minds of builders in the late 19th and 20th centuries was the Bauhaus. Here, instructors, students, and businessmen gather ideas to form to further enhance their ideas of society and what went on in it. Art is in everything and in everyone. It is only the mental limitations that we put on ourselves that sometimes prevents us from making the world a better place.